Hey guys, last week I went to Seattle for the day with my boyfriend. We flew down there, well he flew me down there, and we went to the Aviation Museum first, kind of looked around there for a few hours to do what my boyfriend wanted to do, and then we went shopping. So we went to the South Center Mall, yes, and went to a lot of shopping. Now before we went there we went to Ulta because I had found out that it's really close to it, so I was like, okay, I've never been there and I want to go there. Um, it was okay. I mean, I thought I would get a whole lot, but I thought I would get a whole bunch of more stuff. Um, I saw they had this one kind of palette kit online, and it was for $19.99. So I was like, okay, well if I buy it in the store, I can save on shipping. So they didn't even they didn't have that. So that was the main reason I wanted to go there. Um, but I was like, oh, I can get it at home online, and then I realized they don't ship to Canada, so I can't get that. But oh well. Um, so instead, I got four nail polishes. They had a deal when you buy two in the same brand you get the third one free and then I also had a uh, $5 off when you spend $15 coupon that I printed off online. So I got three Etsy polishes which I haven't had any Etsy before and then a China Glaze. So these are the three Etsy ones. This one is very cranberry. Then we have the Lilacism. And I have another lilac nail polish, but it takes like three or even four coats um, for it to actually show up well. So that's why I was looking for a new one, and I heard heard that this one doesn't need a tremendous amount of coats. And then French Affair. This is a beautiful kind of baby pink. And then from China Glaze, I got Princess Grace. So here is what they all look like. So that's the Cranberry, Lilacism, French Affair, and Princess Grace. I spent after tax, it was under $20 for all four nail polishes, which is pretty good. Then there was Bath and Body Works, which was kind of two stores down from there. So I went there too because we don't have that in my city. And they had the promotion of spend $30, get $10 off. So Pretty much my total came to $30.75 before the discount, so then I got $10 off. And they have so many good sales on. They have things for like a $2 and a $3 table, and then other ones that are 50% off or 75% off. So I got a lot of stuff. Um, and yeah, all for $20. I got two antibacterial hand soaps. And these are the ones kind of with the foaming tops. And this one is Fresh Picked Strawberries and warm vanilla sugar. This one is so sweet and this one, yeah, really smells like strawberries. Um, oh, and then I got one more. The Guava Grapefruit Blast. Well, I guess these ones aren't foaming. No, these ones are not foaming. This one's foaming. And then I got a Fragrance Mist Mango Coconut. And it smells really good as well. And usually I don't love coconut smell, but I don't know, this one just works. And then coconut pineapple body wash. And I think this one was the most expensive. It was, I think, $6. No, this one was $6. This was 5 And then all the other things were either 2 or $3. And then I got three baby candles. I got two of the peppermint mint, or what is it? Mint chocolate. And oh my goodness, it smells like the peppermint bark you get at Christmas. Just, I couldn't believe that it smells that great and that minty. So I was like, I definitely need to get that. And then I also got the s'mores. I wanted to get the, was it vanilla birthday cake? or I don't remember which one, but they only had them in the large ones. And I wanted to have the small ones, so I didn't get that. So that's what I got from there, and yeah, that was $20 too. Then I went to Nordstrom Rack, and I got just a Philosophy um, body wash kit. It has the vanilla, butterscotch, and caramel in it, and they're, they're just the small sizes. Um, but I have the butterscotch in the large one, and I'm like almost at it. I already have added water to it to make it like last longer, so I like these. And this was $17, and... I think at Sephora in the States it's like $25 and in Canada it's like 30 something dollars for the kit so definitely good. 
So then I went to the mall, and my most expensive purchase was from Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, yeah, it was pretty expensive, but I really like it, and I figure I can use it. Um, it's not something that's going to go out in style. Um, it does have the horizontal stripes, which may, but you can still use it because basically it's just a sweater. Um, yeah, it was $58 US, and it wasn't on sale, but we don't have Abercrombie here, and look, our dollar is practically the same as the US dollar now, and it still says 58 in US, but 78 in Canada, so I figured I'm still saving a lot. So it's just like this now, Abercrombie sizes, it's pretty depressing, they fit really small, so yeah, I'm a large, and I don't think I could actually do this up button it, or I could, but I mean it would look like really tight and not that attractive but usually with my sweaters I just leave them open anyways and hanging so that's okay half of my little cardigans like this don't even have buttons um, so that's good just a bit depressing when trying on clothes there but that's okay then I went to Victoria's Secret and I got another eyeshadow because I really like the one I got I have this one I got from Las Vegas and I was hoping to find the same one but it's snow toasty um, and it was like $2 or $3 because it was after their Christmas promotion. It was on sale. So this one wasn't on sale. Um, and it's 24 karat bold. So it's, you can't see it too well. But it's like the same one, but it's just a bit darker with the colors. And then I got two more things. I went to Charlotte Roofs. And other times when I've been there, I haven't found anything. But I found this shirt and like it quite much. A lot. So it's like this, and it has kind of the beaded detail at the top. And then it just is kind of flowy, hangs down, and this kind of, not cinches around your hips, but it's tighter, and then this kind of, it lets it billow down a bit. Anyways, it's good and it hides kind of your belly flab, if you have any. Well, I do, so yes, it hides that. And then my last thing was a dress from Alley Cat Couture. And... It looks like it's kind of hard. It's a halter top, and it's kind of this brown material, and it has some like tool underneath the skirt, so it goes out a bit. And yeah, and it has like a bow on the back that you tie. And I just thought it was really cute. It was twenty-eight dollars, and I love dresses, but I don't have enough um, places to wear them out. So I feel bad if I like all the dresses here. If you go to like a store that has mainly dresses, they're like. 75 plus so for this one for 28 bucks I thought that was very good and it's very cute and it looks pretty much just like those dresses that you could get there for so much more so I think my birthday is coming up on the 23rd so I think I'm gonna wear this when I go out to dinner with my boyfriend celebrate my birthday so there we go those are my deals some were quite good deals other ones not so much like the Abercrombie shirt but it's still a lot better than if I would have gotten it in Canada, and I made sure that all of these stores that I went to, we either don't have them in Canada, or then we don't have them in my city, like the closest one is like two, three hours away. So I think I did very well, and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.